see it down beyond that rise over there. I think you can just barely, barely see them sticking up. Hi, I'm Frank Willem, host of Find Your Outdoors. And I'm Brittany Willem, co-host of Find Your Outdoors. And we're here scouting for an upcoming kids outdoors hunt at Gaddy Farms. That's right. If you've watched Find Your Outdoors over the last three or four seasons, you've seen we've been involved with kids outdoors on a number of our shows. These have ranged from hunting in Texas, a bird hunting up at Soggy Bottom, and even fishing, red snapper fishing, for example. But it all started right here at Gaddy's Farms about four years ago. If you recall, the very first time that we ever featured Kids Outdoors, our good friends Don and Katie Gaddy invited us and Rick and Carol Clark from Kids Outdoors, along with Christian, to come kill a red stag deer. It was on that trip that we were really introduced to Rick and Carol and we had a chance to sit down and get to know the organization as a whole. We had a chance to get to know Christian and his dad and just the whole experience was just, it was touching. It was something that we'd never experienced before because, you know, for us to go hunting or fishing um, and to accomplish, you know, what we're after, that's, you know, it's always a great time, but to see the impact that it had, not only on Christian, but some of the other kids that we've gotten to encounter over the years, it's just, it's a, it's a feeling that you just, you can't explain. So not only did I see how Christian was moved, but how you were touched as well. And so over the next three or four years, as we were more involved with Kids Outdoors and really fully understood the mission and the value of what Rick and Carol do for all these kids that are disabled with special needs, we began to feel like they needed their own show. And so the idea evolved for Outdoor Dreamers, and we're here today for the kickoff of that new show. We hope you stick with us for the next 13 weeks because we would love for you to get to know Rick and Carol and these kids and the adventures and all the people that we meet along the way. It's going to be something special. So stick with us because this is Outdoor Dreamers. Big bass out on the line Riding around the ranch and they side by side with chasing birds and calling ducks Dreaming about another day out in between the pines Running through the hollow, in the soggy bottom You want a trophy white till I tell you son they got him Watch the sun set on the porch you're thinking I'll forever be outdoor dreaming You're watching Outdoor Dreamers Outdoor Dreamers is presented by Soggy Bottom Lodge Clark. And I'm Carol Clark, and we are founders of Kids Outdoors. Boom! That's a good fish, dude. Kids Outdoors is an organization that is focused on special needs children, getting them in the woods, getting them hunting, fishing. Yeah, that's it, man. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Love it, love it. We take children on dream trips. We take children that have handicap. We take children that have been in accidents. We've taken burn children. It was a shocking moment to, to hear that, those words, that it was leukemia. Not just special needs kids, but we like to in, in bring other children into it because they need to all understand that everybody's just children of God. If I would like to go fishing or uh, deep sea fishing, I said, yeah, that would be, be a blast. And I immediately asked if I could bring Brandon because he has stayed there with me through the whole thing. The great thing about Kids Outdoors, they set it up for the kids to make sure they get their experience is the, the best that they could ever be. The very first hunt and I got a, a big red stag and it was the most fantastic um, experience I've ever had in my life. Thanks to Carol and the Kids Outdoors Foundation. They make it about that child. Give me five! Oh, oh, five. five. And they do everything. I mean, we're talking about setting up tree stands, blinds, um, baiting for the animals. We're talking about, I mean, doing all of this ahead of time. Good show. <laughs> I mean, the kids are out front in everything, and I love that about this organization. You can take a child 
and hold them back or you can take a child and push them forward to let them accomplish their life. They have memories. It's all about them. People don't understand what you take for granted every day until you get around a special needs child that has nothing to look forward to but another day of what they went through yesterday. So we've had children that have come in and been very quiet, um, unsure, no self-confidence. Uh, by the end of their trip, whether they've caught a big fish or they've, they've taken an animal or they've just been able to experience using a bow and arrow or using a gun to see the, the difference in their personality and the confidence that they get. When they left here the next day, you could see a young man that had his life back. One of our parents actually told us, and said that, you know, my child never thought that he would be able to provide for us. Good Lord, that's a trophy. That is a trophy. That weekend literally changed our lives. Such a great organization that they do for kids. We know that we have been blessed. Coming up next on Outdoor Dreamers, Carol and Rick head to West Texas to meet Bailey Shackelford for a West Texas exotic hunt. Stay tuned on Outdoor Dreamers, presented by Soggy Bottom Lodge. We're in Sweetwater, Texas with Kids Outdoors board member Steve Smith where he and his wife, Jan, await Carol and Rick's arrival to their West Texas ranch. Steve and Jan show us around the ranch before the kids' outdoor crew gets in town. I'm gonna kinda show you our setup in the motel rooms. This room is our water room. We're holding 2,500 gallons of, of water in this tank. And then it, we got a pressure pump and it sends water to our house. To the, mo to the lodge, to the motel rooms, to the uh, foreman's house, and to the bar. What we did is we built, we built a, a room, a bathroom, a room, so we've got two bedrooms share one bath, a common bath. We've got it set up where we can sleep eight people over here uh, with the twin beds, and then we've got a bath separates it but they close the doors you know if you've got we try to team up everybody that are either they came together or their families uh, we don't you know we don't mix families in in the in the uh, suites we, we keep it where you know everybody kind of knows everybody and then Laundry room uh, in our air is in here in our water heaters, and then the washer and dryer and the the uh, air conditioning unit. We had a freeze and had a blind bust, so I had them come in and put pecs all the way through. So you see some of these white things, speckles on the wall. They had to cut wall and put the packs in and all that, but it uh, it's really a lot better in this country because in February, March, and April, when that north wind hits, it does a lot of freezing. Then across from us is the lodge, and we uh, we built it. Well, like I said, at the same time, we've got a commercial kitchen in it. We've got it set up where everybody can, you know, we cook in there. We we hang out there and then everybody come over here and go to bed when they get ready to and they're not you know the noise level was not over here at the rooms and and it's really been a neat hangout we'll go up there and get a get a shot of Bailey Shackelford has just arrived to the ranch in Sweetwater, Texas. Hey, bud. Yeah, Bailey. How you doing? I met you last weekend. Good to see you, buddy. This will be Bailey's first time to ever hunt with his dad. 
Jason Shackelford and my son's name is Bailey Shackelford and we're from New Deal, Texas, just north of Lubbock. Whenever I got in touch with uh, kids at National Kids Outdoors, they, I learned that they had the apparatuses that could make everything work and man, it, it enlightened me. I really wanted to come and I wanted to see Bailey be able to shoot and be able to do what I love to do and partake in everything in life that I love. Well, Bailey, we're glad to have you, buddy. I guarantee you we're going to have some fun, aren't we? After a warm welcome, Steve takes Bailey to meet Rick at the shooting apparatus for a little target practice to ensure he's comfortable shooting from this custom piece of equipment. What we have here is a is an apparatus that will fix it where Bailey can harvest that. And it's, it's a camera. We're going to show you how this works. All right. Rick, is it a, we're gonna turn it. Oh, no. First thing we do is go to take the child to the range, or the, whoever's going, we take them to the firing range. Well, Bailey needed to learn how to use this, and we needed to see that he could deal with it when it came time to push the button, which it was, pushing the button was difficult for him. Uh, at the firing range, when we just, we set everything up, talked to him about it, dry fired it a few times, and then we put a target up, put headphones on him so he didn't hurt his ears because he's real sensitive with his ears. The uh, When we came time for him to shoot, he shot like a tramp. He knew exactly what was going on. You, you think he did, he couldn't tell you, but he knew exactly what to do when, it, when the time came. Okay. All right, you're live. Are you ready? Yeah. Boom! We got him! <laughs> All right, let's drive down and see the target, okay? We're in West Texas with Kids Outdoors as Bailey Shackelford embarks on his first ever hunt. Bailey's hoping to tag a trophy Texas doll sheep. We woke up this morning and it's a beautiful day and we're, I know they've got a whole lot of exotic rams out here on the on this ranch. And Bailey's looking forward to going and I'm looking forward to going and uh, hopefully we're going to get us one and get back with it. Due to Bailey's condition, he can't sit in a stand or a blind for a long period of time. So Steve's crew at 345 Ranch loads Bailey up in the back of a pickup to hunt West Texas safari style. Uh, because of Bailey's health, he can't get into a shooting house or go do a stalk or anything like that. So we have our, our alternatives. We'll do an Africa style hunt. We'll put him in the back of the truck with the apparatus hooked up. Whenever he was 13 months old, he started having seizures. And it started off, they said they were complex febrile seizures, and but they put him on medicine. Well, then it developed into epilepsy. And then we found out he has autism. And then we found out that <clears throat> he has a, it's called dystonia, makes him shake real bad all the time. That's why we can't gain weight, any of that. They installed a, a deep brain stimulator system in him. He has a generator mounted in his chest and he has a probe sticks in each, either side of his head up here into his brain and that continuously shocks him on different pulses so it slows down to shaking. And then he also has a fatal genetic disorder called NCL. They found half of it, and as soon as we find the other half in his genes, then that's whenever the fatal start taking over on that part. Oh man, we've had seizures and multiple seizures, and <clears throat> ever since he was 13 months old, we've gone anywhere from five to six to eight a day, down to none for two or three months when we finally get all the medicine right. Went out and did a little prowling around, and. Did a little scouting in the area. We'd seen a couple of sheep in that area. And so we thought we'd take Bailey over there and do a little looking around and see if we got lucky enough to get in range on one. And sure enough, after a little while, we kind of scouted and looked and had a couple a couple chances, but not really the right one. And next thing you know, it all kind of worked out. All right, Dan, you Keep trying to tell him. Keep trying to. Right there. right there. Ready? Here we go. You ready? All right, y'all take it, fellas. He's ready. Push. Push your button. Yep. Take it, man. Take it. 
Take him. Take him. Push your button. Push your button, buddy. Push and hold it, buddy. Uh oh, we got oh, the we brass. brass. Y'all got the tail. Mr. Rick, can you come get the? You know how to handle this gun. Can you come get the brass? brass yes, sir. Bailey did an excellent job, and he closed the deal up, and it was a it was a real good hunt. We all had a really really good time, and I know Bailey was excited. I think that was his first animal to harvest, so uh, we're all real proud and excited for Bailey. Over we'll red above the fireplace. Hey, Give me a smile. Bailey Shackelford has tagged a trophy Texas doll sheep with Steve Smith and Kids Outdoors. He had never had the opportunity to hunt, and through the apparatus, uh, we actually made that happen for Bailey. The main thing it means to me is uh, I've taken my youngest son with me uh, hunting for about the past 15 years. Well, let's see, he's 12 years old, so he's been hunting with me every year since he was born. And I've taken Bailey with me, but when we go to the deer lease, all he can do is ride around in the pickup with me and then just kind of watch for the animals and never been really able to shoot because he can't hold a gun. Or... He'd never been able to go hunting because they didn't have the places that he could, they could take him, they didn't have the, the equipment that they could hunt, hunt him with. The thing that tickled me more than anything was after he took his animal, he took his shell and it went in that pocket. And although he's nonverbal, you could say, Bailey, what did you do? And he would hit that pocket because he knew he had taken his animal. Uh, it was thrilling for him. You couldn't get the smile off of his face. You hear about things, you, you hear the stories, but until you witness it and are involved in it, it doesn't soak in. What's a pretty amazing to me is watch, watching these landowners and it, it touches your heart. Um, Steve has had many, many opportunities to hunt and has had a great life and everything, but to see the look on his face when he knows what he just provided for this child, to see the smile, to see the tears well up. And they always do. You never get tired of it. It never gets old. It's always different. I think what Steve and I truly want to emphasize is it's life changing. Anytime you, you uh, viewers of this show, have a chance to work or volunteer or do anything with someone who has greater needs than you or your community or whatever, do it. Your, re your rewards are really, really great. If I never fire another shot, then so it be. But for me to be able to see kids that want to hunt and don't get that opportunity because of handicap, that is just not right. And there's ways to do it. To know that, that it, a life can be changed like that is, is unbelievable to us. People would look at him and think he's not able to do anything. We gave him a red button. All he had to do was hit a red button and it shoots the gun just like he's supposed to. And he did, he followed the instructions just like he, just like he, we asked him to. And he took, he, he knew exactly what he was doing. He just can't tell you. Next week on Outdoor Dreamers. Bailey has just taken his Texas doll sheep at 345 Ranch with Steve Smith. Now his brother Kyle is up for a shot at a trophy black buck. Then Carol and Rick head east to Orange Beach, Alabama, where they meet up with Gulf Coast Nation for a weekend beach shark fishing trip. Stay tuned on Outdoor Dreamers, presented by Soggy Bottom Lodge.